The schism at the heart of OpenAI has reached breaking point as the head of their super alignment team, Jan Laker, has quit, posting an extremely alarming thread in which he claims that the company is prioritizing profits and products over the safety of all humanity. According to him, OpenAI, probably the world's most advanced artificial intelligence company, is simply not taking safety anywhere near seriously enough. So this begs the question, what has he seen? How worried should we be? And why is it that his concerns seem to be falling on deaf ears as far as the CEO Sam Altman is concerned? Well, let's find out. So first of all, who is Jan Laker? Well, he was the head of the so-called super alignment team that was set up specifically to ensure that we're able to control AI systems that are much, much smarter than humans. When he left three days ago, he made a whole series of claims on a thread on X, which included that his super alignment team were unable to get the compute that they needed to do their work because OpenAI was prioritizing shiny products, as he called it. Now, Jan is an extremely credible and clearly an extremely smart man. He ran the super alignment team with Ilya Sutskeva, the pioneering computer science genius who is essentially a godfather of modern AI systems. And their team was set up last year, just four months before Sam Altman was ousted from his role as CEO. Now, I covered this in great detail on this very channel at the time. But essentially, there was a big rift between people like Ilya and people like Jan and the more business side of the operation in people like Sam and Greg Brockman, the president. On the alignment side, these highly accomplished engineers are clearly fearful that the pace of change in this technology is too rapid and it will soon get to a stage where human beings are no longer able to exert any control over what they do. Now, this would be dangerous for many reasons, but chief among them is the idea of a hard takeoff. This is where a system is able to improve itself and this one system improves so rapidly that nobody else is able to catch up. This would then place a huge amount of power in the hands of one autonomous system. And the theory is that in the absence of any human morality, this system may have goals that do not align with our own. And it may in fact end up killing many millions of humans in the process of achieving them. This is clearly uh, an extremely terrifying scenario, but it's also one that many other experts do seem to agree with, at least in part. People like Jeff Hinton, people like Max Tegmark, and many others. Now, at the time of Sam Altman's ousting in November last year, it wasn't clear what technological advancements, if any, had actually happened. But what was clear is that Elias Sutskeva was probably behind it. So now that Jan has left, people are asking, what exactly is it that they've seen that has not yet been released to the public? Could it be a super intelligent, self-improving AI agent? And if so, then why on earth is Sam Altman not listening to them and slowing down? Of course, we don't know. But there are other possibilities here. I've been saying for some time that the question of AI safety is no longer merely technical, it's also political. Making AI safe is no longer just about the people who happen to work at OpenAI or the people who happen to work in the US government or any singular organization. There are huge questions about whether all AI technology should be open sourced and therefore democratized amongst the population at large. Of course, others will say that this is hugely risky itself and should not be done. But the fact is that these politics and these debates and discussions are clearly happening at OpenAI, the leading AI technology company on Earth. Another possibility is that many people in the company are simply no longer worried about a hard takeoff at all. Evidence is starting to mount that AI capabilities may in fact be plateauing at a level just above the human baseline. And this would make sense, given that all of the data that they've been trained on has been made by humans. Perhaps intelligence itself does not scale indefinitely, but actually scales to the level of its inputs i.e. the content created by human beings on the open internet. And this may explain why companies like OpenAI and Google are now focusing far more on expanding the ways in which their models can interact with humans through things like multimodality across image, video and voice, 
rather than making any grand claims about raw intelligence breakthrough. It might be that, as people like Mark Andreessen and Robin Hansen have said, LLMs are just tools or really, really, really good search engines rather than a new kind of alien intelligence. Google in particular spent a lot of time at their recent I.O. event talking about ways that they're going to integrate LLMs into their existing products like Search and like the G Suite and many others. And Sam Altman will have been watching very closely because another reason why he may not be listening to people like Jan is because he simply feels like the genie is now out of the bottle and there's not really anything that he would be able to impact in terms of AI safety in any case. He'll be looking at Google, a company with far greater resources than OpenAI, knowing that if he doesn't continue to accelerate, then soon he'll simply be overtaken by Google, who will then own the market and squeeze out the much smaller OpenAI. And of course, if Google doesn't do it, then somebody else probably will. Personally, I actually think that this is the most likely. I do believe that the genie is now out of the bottle. And I don't think that any kind of global pause in AI is achievable. I simply don't think it'll work. Open sourcing is likely the only way to ensure a hard takeoff does not occur because it will allow for an open playing field where all of the legions of AI enthusiasts all over the world can keep tabs on the technical developments. And it doesn't concentrate this vast power in the hands of any one company or government. We're already starting to see that competition is moving these capabilities around different companies and it's already starting to feel unlikely that any one is going to run away from all of the others super super fast. This is a good thing and opening up the technology will only mean more competition, more companies innovating and more products being released that are hopefully for the betterment of humanity rather than to its detriment. Of course, we are playing with fire to some degree, but I can't see any better option. But that's just what I think. I would love to hear whether you agree with me, whether you have any thoughts, whether there's anything that I've missed in this whole conversation. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time.